Hi, this is Dan with the Bookish Gamer, and I'm going to show us how to peel paper off of the Cricut mat so that it doesn't get bent. Uh, what happens is too often, especially newcomers, when we start to peel our designs, uh, we get curled paper, which turns into curled projects, and that we don't want. We also want to be able to save as much paper as possible, all right? And if this is bent, you can't save it. So here's what we need for our project. What we're doing today is we're going to make a bookmark. This is the Moby Dick bookmark that I made. And now we're going to make a sec the Secret Garden bookmark. Um, I already have the cut on here. So this is already applied and ready to be peeled. So what we don't want to do is we don't want to grab from the edges and just kind of peel the rest of this paper off. Um, it could lead to tearing, which is problematic, but worse, yeah, you get this paper that's kind of a curled mess. Um, I couldn't save this if I wanted to. I guess I could save this little bit here. I'll probably cut that to save it, um, but it's kind of a mess now, all right? It doesn't really look clean. So what I'm going to do instead, all right, is... And this is for the actual bookmark. Is I'm actually going to place the mat upside down. I'm going to kind of adhere it to the table. You want to make sure your space is clean so you don't get too much gook on it. And then when I go to peel, I want to peel this whole thing backwards. Make sure. that the project itself doesn't get bent. Now, I've never made this secret garden bookmark, so I have no idea what it's actually gonna look like. Um, I got it from the Cricut Access. Um, it's one of the free projects on there. Um, so we just, it's a very intricate design, and those intricate designs, especially as a newer um, Cricut user, um, they look really cool, but Pretty complicated to use. Uh, cool. All right, so I managed to salvage this. All right, so I even got I got a little bit of a bent at the end there, but nothing terrible. Um, I got a couple little pieces. I need to kind of just finish yeah. taking off. This is going to look really cool when it's all done. All right, so just going to take those pieces off. I got one more. Great, all right. So I have my cut, which is great. I'm gonna place that right here for now. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. Uh, on my mat, I have some leftover flotsam and jetsam. All right, so what I'm gonna use is, I'm gonna use a scraper tool, one of the tools I said you should purchase, um, which you definitely should. Uh, this helps with creasing lines, if need be, for say a card, all right. Um, but it also helps with getting the leftover pieces from the project back on here. So I'm just going to peel that stuff right off. And then we're going to adhere the second piece to the cutting mat. All right, so now that that's clear, I'm just going to rummage that off to the right. All right, so again, all right, this was a piece that I saved from a previous project. Clearly I was making bookmarks. All right, and I'm gonna adhere it again to the mat, carefully applying it. Cool, just gonna make sure it's... Um, I didn't actually press down on my original projects uh, and when I went to pull, paper actually got stuck and kind of projects got all messed up. All right, so you want to make sure you line it up. I'm going to feed this guy in. All right, and this should cut in just a couple seconds. All right, it's pretty quick. So that's in. I'm going to load, press the load button. It's getting into position. I wait for the C button. The other two items that I 
definitely recommend is a glue pen and a glue roller. Um, don't buy any cheap glue, you'll just waste your money and you'll wish you got something else. All right, that's it for my cut. So I'm just gonna unload that. So again, I should be able to save this whole bottom half if I peel it correctly. All right, so what I don't wanna do is just peel from the top. So what I'm gonna do, oops. swoop so as I peel off you can actually be quite forceful with it right? especially when the paper's whole and then as it gets closer to the end I kind of just slip my finger under here so that way it doesn't try to get too bent boom Place that over here so now I can save this whole side and if I wanted to make another bookmark I'm good to go so now we're just gonna finish this pro project. It's only gonna take a couple seconds. So I have my piece. All right, my secret garden came out pretty good. A little, you can see right here, it got a little bent on the side. I'm not too concerned about that because I'm gonna be gluing it down. And with such an intricate pattern, um, stuff like that's bound to happen. So I'm just looking, I was just measuring it, making sure that it was going to fit okay. I do my work on pieces of paper, it's terrible. I need to buy a mat to be working on, give the pen glue a little bit of a shake, and I'm just gonna go all along the exterior of this to make sure. Probably applied a little too much glue. You can already see that. It's not a big deal. Okay. This glue is really powerful. Um, and you can get it as an add-on item on Amazon for like a couple bucks. It was three or four dollars, so it was pretty cheap. And glue, all right. And there's such intricate patterns. I don't even know where to put some of this glue, so I'm just gonna put a little here, a little here, all right. And you squeeze the pen, get the glue out. Okay, try to spread it around a little bit. I think that should be pretty good. I'm not looking for, this isn't Van Gogh. All right, I think we're ready here. So put the cap back on. I'm gonna grab my design. I'll, I don't even know where to grab it from. Here we go. Cool. So I have my project. it and I'm just gonna press down go along the edges oh. and there we go there's the secret garden bookmark all done and ready to be used so hopefully you found those tricks helpful be sure to tune in next week when I go over how to make a Magic the Gathering 3D box. Thanks for watching.